perspective on Tillerson's ouster, CNN national security commentator and former chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Mike Rogers. Um, Mike, Tillerson seemed to me at least an awkward fit from the jump. Should the surprise actually be that it took this long to make this change? Uh, probably. And, and, you know, there was all of the conversation last year that this was going to happen. I think CNN broke the story that uh, this exact scenario was going to happen within a month or months. Uh, and uh, so, so, so it happened. And so I just think it was continuing to build up. Mm -hmm. uh, he had, you know, the president has a different direction. And I do think the president's a little impetuous, call me crazy, <laughs> uh, that he just decided, you know what, today's the day, uh, without any real forethought about how this might have been better handled. And, you know, candidly, when your secretary goes, I'm sorry, maybe I'm old school SE, but you, he deserves a phone call to say, hey, thanks for giving up your big, big corporate life and your very successful commercial life to do this for a year. I really appreciate it. It's just not working out. Why don't you, you know, let's talk about a resignation coming up. I, I, this, that, that bothered me more than anything. Probably shouldn't. But I agree with you on this. Uh, I think Pompeo is much more in line with the president. Mm. He's closer to the president. He's been not only his CIA director, but he has been uh, engaged in a lot of uh, political conversations uh, and advice, I understand, in the White House. So he'll have somebody, and that might, if that sets a better stage for our uh, adversaries uh, and our allies, that could be an outcome, a good outcome of this. Yeah, and I want to I ask you more about Mike Pompeo in a second. But first, um, you know, when I was listening to the president describe why he let Rex Tillerson go, I remembered back to, to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, and, and, and they didn't see eye to eye on everything. Syria was, was a really good example of that. Um, in this case, do you think the differences were, as Trump said, policy, or do you think it was a, a personality issue? I think it was both. I think you have a guy that was, uh, you know, used to running a multinational corporation, which is no small feat. Uh, you know, he had metrics he had to meet every month and every quarter and every year. Uh, he had a board of directors that held him accountable. That's a very different management style, even if you're tough and kind of aggressive, than I think what the, he was used to with uh, President Trump. And so I do think that was probably a mix of both. I think it was policy. I think demeanor was a big part of it as well. You know that you want your Secretary of State, I think, to have that demeanor of cal calm at all uh, under all circumstances, uh, and not afraid to push our adversaries. But you also want to offer them the opportunity to, to for a way out of anything difficult. And so I think that was certainly Tillerson's style. I just don't think it's Trump's style. And I think they, so. They had this kind of clash of policy and personality. Well, let's talk about Mike Pompeo. Um, is, is the fact that he served in Congress and therefore has more political awareness than, than Tillerson had. Is that a good thing for a Secretary of State? I mean, it's, it's a political post. I think it is. I think it's going to be good at the, at the end of the day. And remember, he's, he's been giving political advice to the President since he's been CIA Director as well. So yeah. I do think in that way, it's going to be a good thing. And then by the, when he shows up to some negotiation for North Korea or Russia or Iran or fill in the blank, He's going to come with the authority of the president. And right now, right. I, I think no one could argue that Tillerson up with that. It was always, D, are you really talking for him? Do, has there somebody else at the end right. of the line? Who do I call? Who do I send my email to? Um, <laughs> and so I think that this that could help cure that up. And, and at the end of the day, could mean a more, uh, a more engaged State Department internationally. I think that would be a good thing if that happened. Yeah, I mean, to that end, uh, it, it, it did seem like the president was going around state uh, often or sort of undermining Rex Tillerson. What, I mean, as far as you know, what is the state of state? Is, is Mike Pompeo going to have a big mess to clean up when he gets in there? Or do you think this is going to be a fairly smooth transition? Well, I think the I think he'll get through fine. I think he'll take over. I do think that there is a morale and misunderstanding and mistrust throughout the ranks of the State Department. And remember, you know, listen, I, I think the State Department needed some reform. I really did believe that. I, I don't think it needed this. I don't yeah. think you punish the State Department. You say that they're you know, not effective. And by the way, you're communicating that to the rest of the world. You want a functioning State Department. Was it big and bloated in some ways and too bureaucratic in others? Absolutely. Could that have been done in a more appropriate way so that we can maintain the mission? Mm -hmm. I think yes. I mean, you look at the, uh, I mean, Tillerson was not even allowed to fill out his political appointments right. to engage in the policy of trying to run the State Department. And so, you know, to that regard, people notice 
Uh, there were good people leaving, good people not out and working and doing the things they need to do in the State Department, people not making decisions that they need to be made. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, I think that he does, ha he, he has that challenge. So if he goes in with the same attitude as you know, you're, you're all bad and all of you should be, you know, corralled up and thrown out into the back pasture, I think they're going to have problems. If they go in with a constructive attitude about where the State Department needs to function for the president's strategy, then I think uh, he could do well. And I think, you know Mike Pompeo, I know Mike Pompeo, I think he, he's the latter. <laughs> Mike, I do too. Mike Rogers, I do too. thank you very much for, for your think. insight. It's March Madness. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, your you're right. Political. Get your brackets done. McMaster is going to next. This is going to be great. Oh, God. <laughs>